one of the mightiest guitar questions and debates of them all is what guitar pick should I use? Does it make a difference? In short, the answer is yes. It does actually make a difference what guitar pick you use. There's all different sizes and different thicknesses. Whilst it's an opinionated topic, I'm gonna to tell you which one I prefer and I'm gonna tell you why I prefer it. But let me get into, first of all, the one thing that I don't think makes a difference and it's gripped picks. Like, so you can get picks that have got a grip on them. Like I do have one here. This has got a grip on it here. Does this grip make a difference with the pick? No, not at all. Um, not for me, anyway. So the grip is all down to your your actual own fingers and how you are using them. What matters even more than the guitar pick, in my opinion, is the way that you're holding the pick. Um, for me personally, I've found the best way to hold it is on the side of my finger, as opposed to holding it on the, the base of the tip of your finger. So I'll hold it on the side, and then I go across with my thumb like that. That's super important part. And I play open-handed, some people play close-handed. Sometimes I do switch to close-handed depending on what I'm playing. It, playing. So the first thing is, personally, I feel that the really, really, really thin plectrums are absolute, absolutely useless. The reason being, when you're playing with them, they're almost like paper. They're so flimsy and they, they flop about so much that whilst they can be okay for strumming, and you can pretty much guarantee you're probably not going to snap a string with them, they're not so good if you want to do any form of picking work within your playing. So I would avoid using the super thin ones. The thick ones are what I prefer, but you do you are best working your way up towards using the thicker picks. Um, personally, so like I've got a super thick pick here. It's not the one I use. But this is a super thick pick. This one's by Alice. And this is a 1.5 millimeter. That's really thick pick. The benefits of the super thick picks is that you can really get dead tight into the string for your picking. You can do some really good alternate picking, especially on the electric guitar. So you can do some... That sort of good stuff is really good with a thick pick. With a thin pick, it they flop all over the show. Alternate picking, no go with that sort of thing. Um, the downside of the thick pick, I suppose, is because they are they are, they are thicker. You do attack the string a bit harder. Um, you do snap strings a bit more, but strings need changing quite. If you play regular, strings need changing regularly. Anyway, normally they normally need changing before you even snap a string. Um, Especially if you play as much as I do, which is a lot. I've got a few demonstrations here. So these are kind of like your relative standard shape and size guitar plectrums um, that you see and that most people use. I don't use these. I used to back in the day. I'll use them if, for any reason, the normal picks that I use aren't handy. Um... They work for me. Now the reason I don't use these, um, and I tell my students not to try not, not to use them. Um, some of them prefer them, and I say I don't tell them like if they prefer if they really do like using them and it works for their style. I don't tell them um, stop using them. I I say carry on with them um, if the technique's right. But these picks because they're so large, um, and you can get larger ones as well than these. Because they're so large, I find a lot of people hold them um, in a way that doesn't work best for their playing. So they, they tend to hold them here as opposed to on the side of the finger and they put the thumb over. So they end up holding them like this. Now I would recommend not holding a plectrum like that. You want to hold it on the side of your finger like that. Um, so they end up utilising 
holding them like that, but they also end up holding them where there's so much of the pick showing that it kind of actually creates the effect of what the thin picks do. So because I've got so much of the pick showing there, it's for a pick that's 1.5 millimeter thick, which is very thick, um, it ends up making the pick, I, I don't know if you can see, but it makes it floppy because you've got too much of it showing. When you're, when you're picking, when you're strumming, yeah, have a little bit more showing, but you still don't have that much, you don't want much showing. And when you're alternate picking or doing really precise electric work or lead work, you, you only want a tiny bit of your plectrum showing. The other thing as well with the larger picks I've found is that a lot of people hold them um, I have to. I spend a lot of time correcting technique when when students come in with me. Um, I've seen so many people get into the habit of using them with holding them with two fingers and their thumb across like this. Which, granted, one of the best rhythm guitar players in the world, I think James Hetfield. I know that he holds his plectrum in two fingers and it works for him. And he is a beast of a player. He's so good. Um, but it's just not the way I would recommend to hold your pick. Um, so these are the ones I recommend that I'm going to show you now. Um, these are like, these are an acquired taste. People either love them or hate them. You normally find that advanced guitar players love these picks. Um, these are the ones that I swear by. Um, these are Jazz 3 picks. So... These are a lot smaller than your standard side plectrum. And the reason I recommend these is because they're kind of too small to fit two fingers on. So you can't really do that two finger thing with it. Um, they're thick. They're not 1.5 thick. I'm not actually sure how thick these are, but they feel about one millimeter. They're thick enough for picking like they've got no bend in them which is good um, and when you hold them because they're so small you don't have so low a lot of the pick showing which is good especially again for that intricate kind of alternate picking sort of thing um, but then when you're holding them and you want to strum with them when you do pull back a bit and you have a bit more of the pick showing, for strumming, it gives you just the right amount of flex within the plectrum that you want for a strum. Whereas if you, with the larger ones, when you pull back for strumming, you have too much of it showing. It makes it hard to get around the strings. So you have just the right amount of flex with these smaller plectrums. <laughs> just enough to add that kind of picking vibe into your chords with the strumming as well. With these larger ones, it's a little bit trickier. You can have too much going on. Like for me, it's hard to gauge which string I'm picking when I'm doing the picking side of things with those ones. I have recently come into some more plectrums though that I would highly recommend to people that I'm trying out, and I'm trying these out because they are very similar to the Jazz 3s, in the sense of, I'm just gonna bring them one up to the screen now, in the sense of the size. So they're the same size as a Jazz 3, they're the same shape as the Jazz 3 pick as well, as you can see. However, they're slightly thinner. So I've got two different ones here. They're the same but different. So the different thicknesses. Okay, um, I bought these on a whim because I'd ran out of Jazz 3s. I had a gig and I went into a guitar shop that was close and they had no Jazz 3s, but they had some packs of these. And back in the, these are called, what are called Tortex um, picks. So the material is Tortex. And I actually got these because back in the day before Jazz 3s, I used to use Tortex plectrums and I loved the feel of them. So they felt really nice on the fingers, but they, they, get, they have a really nice sound on the strings of the guitar as well. Because the actual material that a plectrum is made of does make a difference too, in my opinion. Um, so I thought I'd, I'd, I'd try these and give them a go. And I'm really digging them at the minute. I do go between these and the Jazz 3 plectrums. Now... 
The cool thing about these is you can get them in different sizes, uh, different thicknesses. Jazz 3s are all the same thickness. Um, so you've got this 0.73, which has got a little bit more flex in it. But it's not too flexible either. It's not like it's not like this. So you can't do that with them. This is a this is a point five. This one, so point seven three. You can't do that, and it's kind of too small to be able to do that anyway. So these have got a nice bit of flex, and I tend to use these point seven threes nowadays when I'm playing acoustic guitar or. <laughs> But I mean, probably this thing, actually, which you're probably wondering what this is. Um, and then these ones are cool. I love, I like, the, I'm like digging these for electric at the minute. These are a 0.88. So these are a little, just a little bit th thicker that they give slightly less flex. Like there's only a tiny bit of flex in it. Um, these feel really good on the electric guitar. And these are really focused and they're only slightly thinner than the jazz three so like these two picks are the ones that i go for but i've got to say like these sound great on the strings honestly and these are the tortex flex picks this is a 0.88 and i believe they're by dunlop um but if there was one pick to rule them all which one is it and it would hard have to say it's the Jazz 3, and which is also made by uh, Jim Dunlop as well. So they're both the same brand. But if you want to know which pick you should be using, which pick is the best pick to use, I'm sorry, but it to everyone that swears by the larger plectrums, but it is, it's the Jazz 3. So get yourself a Jazz 3 so that you you get holding the plectrum correctly and so that you're not taking up you're not utilizing too much room on the plectrum as well or get yourself a tortex flex pick because these are great too try them out and you'll see what i mean like it just changes your playing once you switch to these i used the larger plectrums for years and then i switched to these jazz threes because one of my favorite guitar players uh, use them at the time and I didn't switch just because my favorite guitar player was using them when it, like when I switched and I thought I'll try it I was like I see why this guitar player uses them um, they're so much easier uh, and better and you just when you practice after you've practiced with them for a few hours you you'll really get into them so try them out and um, let me know in the comments below how you get on with them i hope this video helps if you could subscribe to my channel that'd be amazing i'm always giving guitar content lessons etc and if you could like the video as well that would be absolutely amazing in the meantime keep on rocking and i'll catch you very soon